Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Monday, May 18th. I am Mary Beth Dumas and I'm very happy to be with you to share today. Our readings today are taken from the Acts of the Apostles and the Gospel of John. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Titeria, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a few moments in reflection of the Gospel and its message to us today.
and let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide and inspire all the scientists and medical researchers working for a cure to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in any way burdened by this pandemic, that the sick, the unemployed, the lonely, and the frontline and essential workers may find comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray now with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your son, who is the light of the world. Help us as we try to follow his example of bringing that light to others through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.